Good day, learners! Welcome to Module 2 on PFA, Calming Down and Managing One's Emotions and Thoughts, with your teacher, Mrs. Rica Grace R. Jimenez. As we begin our session, let us have our set of objectives. First, identify positive ways to manage one's emotions. Next, practice calming down using a relaxation exercise. And third, be able to practice reframing one's thoughts. So far, we've talked about your reactions to the pandemic or any form of disaster. Today, we will talk about how to manage your feelings. Yesterday, I asked you to identify your different reactions and feelings towards the pandemic or any type of stressful situation that you may have experienced recently. Can you recall what those feelings were? Today, let's talk about some ways to help you manage your feelings. Can you recall for me some of those feelings that you mentioned yesterday? Alright, so yesterday you have shared different feelings or reactions such as angry, sad, numb, worried, and scared. So when you feel this way, what do you usually do to help manage or get rid of the feeling? Some of you may say that you have different ways of managing or getting rid of the feelings. Not all of you will have the same way on how to deal the feelings and reactions. Doing these actions help you feel better. They help you address your stress. But can you identify if there are actions there which would be considered as unhealthy ways of dealing with the stress? Which ones would be considered as healthy ways of coping? And what made you say this? Please also take a look at your own list of emotions from yesterday and list down the ways that you deal with the emotions. Can you identify if you were using healthy or unhealthy ways of dealing with the stress? Take a look at this table now. You will see that I marked unhealthy for crying and punching the wall whenever you are sad or you are angry. Remember that there can be other ways to manage or get rid of your feelings, especially if it is negative. There are many other positive things that you can do when you are having different feelings or reactions. All you just have to do is to make sure that you explore the things that can be done as an alternative feelings or reactions. At this point, Allow me to share with you some healthy ways on how to deal with stress. The first suggestion would be catching your feelings. It is always good to catch what you are feeling. It is a normal and valid feeling. It's okay to not feel okay. But they are real and true only as the not-so-normal situation that triggers it. It is okay to not feel okay. In a not-so-okay situation like the pandemic or any disaster. Now, I want to invite you to do some diaphragmatic breathing. Breathe in, or the inhalation of air. A very slight pause before you exhale. Then breathe out. Breathe in, and a very slight pause before you inhale. Breathe out, then release all the feelings so if you feel that you are getting more upset or stressed anxious or nervous you can ask to be excused or you can just close your eyes or turn around and just silently count backwards from 10 until 1 while doing so focus on your breathing and tell yourself to calm down let us try this together 10 9 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You may also want to try the third suggestion, which is check your feelings. Were those feelings helpful to me? You will probably answer with both a yes and a no. That means that some of your feelings were helpful, but others were not. For instance, if you keep feeling fearful, do you need to stay in fear for long? 
How helpful is fear for you? How accurate or appropriate is the feeling of anxiety now? How helpful is it to always be worrying about things? While thinking about this, breathe in and breathe out five times. Another suggestion would be the 3-2-1 census check. In this method, I want you to quietly name three things you can see around you. Two things that you can feel and one thing that you can hear. While doing this, breathe in and out five times but every time you do so, you add one more second to each inhale and more second to each exhale. The next suggestion would be reframe. This means that a feeling usually comes from a thought and when we can change or reframe a thought, then we can change how we feel. For example, I feel angry because my mother called me lazy. I think my mother called me that way because she does not see me working hard or maybe because she is just really unfair all the time. I can reframe that by saying, my mother is just very stressed and tired to knife. She does not mean what she says. By reframing the thought, I have changed the way I feel about the situation. Then the last suggestion is to change that feeling. In this part, I want you to think of something else to help you feel better. This means that you can replace that feeling. Some feelings are productive and useful, while some may be unproductive and useless. It is because they are no longer appropriate to the situation. You have the power to change your feelings by actually changing your thoughts about the feeling. This process is called reframing. Where is the feeling coming from? Or you can ask, where is the ball coming from? Why did it hit you? How do you manage your feelings? You can manage it by changing the name of the ball into feelings of gratefulness, understanding, happiness, and contentment. Breathe in, breathe out for five times. You may want also to try other breathing exercises, yoga poses, tai chi with humor injected to it, engaging in sports but in a non-competitive manner, or dance moves using both slow and fast beats. Now for your analysis activity, I'd like you to use an intermediate paper and answer the following questions. First, what do you feel? What do you think was the point of those activities? Second, what was the reason why you had to reframe your thoughts? And for your abstraction activity, can you compare how you feel right now with how you felt before we started with the relaxation activity? On a scale of 1 to 5, 5 being the highest, rate your level of stress before and after we started with the exercise. Did you see some changes? Are the feelings positive? What are these new changes in the way you feel at the moment? Using the same intermediate paper earlier, answer the columns below labeled before on one side and after on the other side. Under the word before, write your feelings during the pandemic or disaster. Under the word after, write your feelings at this very moment. After going through the catch, check, and change exercise. Then for the application part of our module discussion, I'd like you to use the same intermediate paper, answer the question below, and complete the statements that follow. After you have answered this part, tell yourself, The next time when I experience intense feelings, 
I would take a deep breath five times to calm down and then check, change the feelings by reframing my thoughts. You may do all the written activities after you have watched the video presentation of this module. At this point, we have come to the last part of our session. Do you know that people who do yoga close the sessions by saying Namaste? Namaste is a word which means bow to you. People in India use it to say hello or to bid each other goodbye. How about you? Can you think of a short phrase that you can share with the class now to show our appreciation about being with them during online classes? What would be a good phrase or word? Now, if you are watching here in my YouTube account, you may use the comment section to write the phrase that you are thinking of. But if you are watching in our Facebook group, you may use the comment section to type down your answer. Again, this is Teacher Rika. And remember, emotions can be caught, like in a ball, checked on helpfulness, usefulness, and accuracy, and change. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.